Okay, so I've got an LG TV, you can see here, and it's just rotating on this uh, no signal. I've got a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 3, and various other components attached up to it. I did a big test last night bypassing my amplifier, which is down there, um, going straight into the TV, and uh, it was still getting no joy in getting a picture. Um, it is quite happy getting the picture from various other components, so for instance VGA it's getting that, and uh, the composite it's fine getting that image um, and displaying it, but anything on the HDMI ports it's just um, not responsive at all and showing a no signal. It does seem to know that the, um, does seem to know that the, there is an HDMI uh, lead going into it because it kind of lights up in the in the settings here. So if I um, go into input on here, you can see it's lit up HDMI two. And if I remove the the cable from it, it um, it knows that the cable's removed. So it's getting a signal. It's just not actually getting the the signal through sufficient to be able to prefer, pre present. Uh, an image on the screen. So having had a look online at various um, solutions, the board that um, converts the signal um, is apparently now defunct and not available anymore. So a couple of recommendations were to try and bake it. So this is where we take the board out of the back of the LG TV, uh, remove all of the components from it, um, uh, not all the components, but remove the, the PCB itself and make sure there's no sort of plastic wires and stuff like that. And then uh, bake it, the idea being that there are some solder joints which have dried out. Um, and that if we bake it at about 200 degrees centigrade, that should be sufficient to melt the, um, the solder back so that it flows and therefore will fix the problem. Given that we don't have much choice, I'm going to give that a go. Um, we don't have a TV that works at the moment, so if it doesn't work, then we'll still have a TV that doesn't work, so not much change. Anyway, hopefully it'll work. So I've taken my television off the wall, and I've now laid it face flat on the table. There is a, a nice sort of blanket that's underneath it that's cushioning and protecting the screen itself. So. The idea will now be, there are screws all the way around the edge here, so I'm going to remove all of those and get the back off. Okay, so I've got the back of the TV off, as you can see, um, there's a lot of circuitry there. The bit that I'm interested in though is this bit down here. Um, so I'm going to remove the cables from this, um, including these bits here, remove this and the ribbon. But before I do that, I'm going to take lots of pictures of it so that um, I can be sure about the orientation of some of those cables to make sure I get it back in the right place. Um, yeah, that's the plan anyway. Okay. okay. So I've taken the main board off. I've uh, obviously removed all of the uh, ribbons and the other sockets that were attached. There was one up here as well. Um, so those have all been removed. Um, there was a plate on this side as well, which is which was just loose actually. It was just clipped on, so you can remove that. Um, I've put it on some uh, baking paper, and I've double doubled that up, and that's on a metal tray. The reason being, if we were to heat this up to um, the desired temperature, um, and we didn't put something like paper down, um, it would stick the solder would stick to the metal underneath. So we need to put something like paper or wood or something underneath it. I would suggest wood is probably not optimal, but something like this or a pizza base underneath it, um, just to stop it. Um, we don't need to worry about components burning or anything like that because the temperature was the 200 degrees centigrade is what we're going to be aiming for. It should be about 195, 200 degrees centigrade to um, soften the uh, solder, I think uh, 235 is the top value on, on that, but we're just going to go for 200, it should melt uh, at 195. Um, 
burn temperature of paper is something around 300 so or 400 so we're, we're well away from that um, so I've heated preheated my oven I put it on the um, fan oven setting so that we get a nice uh, rounded golden quality no, so so that it's um, so that I can be assured that it's got a good flow and that it's staying at the right temperature so uh, without further ado it's gonna go in at 200 degrees centigrade off we go okay so we're nearly at the point where we can take it out of the oven just waiting for the timer on Alexa to finish and then we can uh, open the door to the um, oven uh, and let it cool for about 30 minutes is what is recommended in the instructions so that's what we'll do so hopefully the timer We'll be finishing reasonably shortly. I'm trying to be as accurate as I can. Um, and then, yeah, as I say, we'll just open the door. I'm not going to touch it, and I think the instructions say be very careful about knocks or, or banging it or bashing it, because obviously that solder is still wet. So here we go, I'm going to turn the oven off and just open the door. And there is our lovely main board. Um, doesn't appear to be any damage at all to it. Looks fairly in state. Has got a nice funky smell on it, but um, yeah, we'll just let that cool for ten. Uh, well, about half an hour. All right. So it's now kind of cool. Um, even the the uh, tray there is is fairly cold to the touch. Um, I've been very cautious about not banging or bashing it while it's been cooling as um, obviously the solder is wet and if you bash it then uh, there's a you run the risk of the solder moving from it from where it was soldered so um, yeah just being very very scientific about it I'm waiting for the, my 60 minute uh, sorry 30 minute timer to to uh, stop um, there was a bit of a funky smell as I mentioned earlier, that's now dissipated and gone away so I'm um, pretty happy that it's now cooling off the, um, the board now is looks pretty cool and the alarm is now going off so I'm going to take it out and uh, fit it back into the uh, housing. Just for reference there's no discoloration at all in any of the PCB components or the PCB itself. So um, even cooking it at 200 degrees centigrade has um, not really impacted the, the components, not, certainly not visibly anyway. Okay, so the main board is now back in its housing. I've put the screws back in. I've managed to lose one of the screws. I'm not terribly sure how I've done that, but um, I was very diligent in putting all the screws into a little cup but I appear to have mislaid one. It's not a game changer, so uh, not a problem. In fact, the connectors went back really, really easily. Um, so pretty happy with that. So normally I would now power it up and give it a go, but it's 40 odd kilos of uh, TV. It's just as easy to um, put the back on. I mean, it was pretty simple to take off if I'm honest. Um, and give it a go. If it doesn't work, we can try baking it again at a slightly higher temperature. Um, but in all reality, I, I probably wouldn't do that. Um, we'll see what happens. So I've now uh, reassembled it. I've put the back back on. Um, it's worth noting uh, the longer screws along the edges in these these holes here. Um, and some of the shorter ones that go in here and over the main socket are different. So this one here, for instance, is the only screw of its length. These two here are the only screws of their length. And this screw here is the only screw of its length. The other ones all appear to be the same, but it's worth, if you are putting it, taking it apart, put them in separate pots or remember which ones have got um, the slightly unusual length so you can put it back together properly. But uh, the case is all now back together. 
all nice and closed, ready to go back on the wall. So I've plugged it all in. Uh, let's give it a go. So first thing I'm going to do is just turn on my PlayStation and then turn on the TV. So it does turn on, which is a good sign. Uh, nice reflection of my family room. HDMI 2. I'm not getting any joy, although this is not yet lit up, so it's coming out on here. Oh, PS4, hey, and it works. Oh, wow. So that has only just gone and worked. Brilliant. What a what a result. So very happy about that. So baking your mainboard really does work. Who would have thought it? Brilliant.